Inside a Concorde. You didn't even know what a Concorde was, did no. you? This is quite an experience, actually. So he said now, for an hour's journey, what was it, 20, 27,000 tonnes of fuel an hour? Yeah. It will cost you £17,000 now to get to... to get to New York, which is absolutely mental. Look at that. I have to say, it's really impressive, isn't it? Yep. There can't be too many of these left now. Of course, I've never lucky enough to go on Concorde. Comment below if you were. Just look at these. To be fair, the wheels probably aren't as big as they are on modern day ones. What a machine. That's all original. So there's a little bit of a history one here. Cruises at 35,000 uh, feet. Just tells you the right answers. 450 miles an hour. That's not the uh, 1300 odd that the Concorde goes. No. So yeah, my guess is this is a front of an actual plane rather than a replica replica. And then it's kind of been uh, stripped out as a bit of an exhibition. I just, I just baffled how to anyone learns this. I'm also baffled as to why there's so many. You probably won't get out of that now. He's there forever. He's there forever. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually feels quite wide where they strips it out, but obviously if you were, um, anyone's been on a plane, not uncommon, or know exactly what it's, uh, what it's like and how tight it is. And then down there, you've got a red arrow. Engines through the years, from the 50s right the way up to 1982. Oh, bloody size of these things! Still amazing that uh, bird strikes. Still a problem. Everything seems to have a Rolls Royce engine. I didn't actually know that. To be fair, I've learned that today. So this jet wasn't modified after the uh, 2000 crash coming out of Paris. Apparently only six of them were, this one wasn't. So this one was actually partially dismantled, taken out of Heathrow around the roads, put on the River Thames, and then brought up here and then brought through farmer's fields in order to get here. And then took six months to re-establish it. So here's a prototype engine for the Concorde. These are Rolls-Royce. Genuinely didn't realize they made so many engines. I know they made them. Cars, I don't think is their actual main thing but I just wouldn't even know where to start on something like this I wouldn't even know where to start so we saw the seats on the plane they're all preserved you can't um can't get on them so of course the accident 25th of July 2000 all caused 
by that. A bit of metal on the track. Quite unbelievable, really, but that really did seal the fate. Whilst there were some amendments made to six other planes, Alpha Alpha, which is the one here, was not one of them. This is a story about how this one got here. Look at this, look. Just wheel for a field. So it did relaunch in 2001 after the accident in 2000, but obviously the events of September the 11th really, really killed it off. 24th October 2003 was the last one, which actually came into Edinburgh Airport, where it landed for the last time. Air France finished five months earlier. British Airways fleet of seven Concords have found new homes around the world. Alpha Alpha, which is obviously here. And there is one in Bristol, Manchester and Heathrow in the UK, then Seattle, New York and Barbados. I don't think there would be one there. But none of these will ever fly again. So this one here wasn't refitted in 2001. So the final flight this one made was from JFK, New York to Heathrow on the 12th of August 2000. Astoundingly traveling at 1,260 miles an hour. Could do it in four hours. Astounding, really is astounding. Wow, the lights have gone off cold in this. Uh, there's a screen over there, look, showing things. Wow. 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 That's incredible. The planes from up above are probably better than they are looking at the planes from down below. Here at the military aviation part of the tour. Katrina Jane there. And it gives you a history on the board which seems to have come on and then the lights come on in relation to uh, to what the plane is. Some of these bombs, we'll have a close look at those soon. This is the Harrier, the vertical takeoff. Oh, there it is. Genuinely, genuinely fascinating. There are some people that work here. Squeeze quite a lot in here. Squeeze quite a lot in here. So the typhoon here only come out of operation in 2007, but actually dates back to uh, 1989. Again, breaks the sound barrier, 1,490 miles an hour. Although Concorde was nearly as quick as this, which is staggering when you think about it. But again, these are original, original planes. You can get fairly close to sort of what it looks like. I can't imagine can't imagine being strapped into uh, any of these planes, let alone an ejector seat to come out. Quite something. What do you think of this mini one, Cod? Look at that. Needless to say, it's a German one. Just in case you weren't sure. I'd be feeling like I was going to die in that anyway, Cod. Duck isn't the word, is it, Cody? Duck isn't the word. Right, we think this one's more simple. I'm not convinced, Cody. I think it's more simple. Mm. <laughs> Get some food on the go. <laughs> now here is the Comet. Now these are much more reminiscent, to be fair, to your modern day jets. Cody hasn't been on a plane yet. They are quite something. I mean, the smell's horrendous. That aside, <laughs> it literally smells like 
someone's taking a piss in it. <laughs> so they don't want you to sit on them, obviously they want them prefer, uh, preserved for future. But this legroom, Cody, is about right, actually. Might be quite generous, fairness, to a normal plane. That's how you sit for uh, eight hours when you go to Florida. But it is still nice. You can't just, there's not many planes you can just sort of wander up and down on and take a look at. And uh, look how many people have been in there. But yeah, ducking. I mean, so I'm... Oh, ah, there we go. So that's the uh, conservation hangar. That's closed today, but that is a mini, a mini stealth, that one. I want to see a stealth bomber here. I have actually seen a stealth bomber flying through the sky. It's quite a sight. It's quite a sight. There's certainly a damn sight bigger than that. Right, on to the next. Suck. How did you do it? Ready? You don't aim much. Hey! Right. No. It's to teach you gravity, Cody. Gravity sucks. Are you See, look, sure? I'll hit your button. Did you still miss then? No, I, I got didn't quite through. catch it quick enough. You have to do it again. Stand back. Stand back. Did, did that go in? <laughs> what do you mean? That is epic, Cody. You've done well there, lad. Oh. Ruined. What does it do? It must be flicking air. Yeah, it does fix air. That's quite clever, isn't it, when you think about it. 50 pumps, car. Go on, pump it faster, for Christ's sake, child. Faster, 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 faster. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, I think it does. Go, 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 Come on, Cody, for Christ's sake. Make some effort into this. You're going red. You're so unfit, it's unreal. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. It's supposed to be. You're building pressure. Go on, just press the launch button, see what happens. Hey. Look at this, look at this. Ready? They're not supposed to. Whoa! <laughs> did that do that or did you push it? No. Oh, come on! Right. Oh, it's proper mull at the bottom of mine, though. Whoa! Jesus Christ! <laughs> right, hold on. It went then. Right, you're ready now. You're going to use that tactic on this plane. Jesus Christ! Why is it so much fun? That came straight at me. <laughs> right, so you've got to put a little bit of effort into the old... Uh... Oh. Alright, you ready? No! We need to move that. Oh, I thought the end was going to be more of a little bit. Oh, okay. Right, move that a little bit. My plane has been mullered by this machine. <laughs> Mine's flying further than yours, even though it looks proper. I mean, it's been mullered. Poor thing's been mullered. You ain't gonna get it right. What you need to do, you press one in the middle start, and as it lights up, you have to do it, and we'll see who gets the fastest score. I've just done it. I won't tell you what I've got, but I'll do it again afterwards to make it fair. Right, let's do it. Just press one. Wait.
41. What did you get? Oh, that's not very good, is it? Well, I did get more than that the first time around, but I'll do it again. Go on then. Round. Right, I did it, Cobb, with five seconds left. You've got 20 seconds to do this. 20 seconds? And 20 you seconds. Oh, restart, 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 restart. That's a granddad type game, that is. Go, go, go. What should I say? Four, three, two, yay! One more time for Aberdeen. You go, try and go somewhere. I'm going to Edinburgh. See, look, I made it there. You've come back for that. I mean, it's better, I'll land you that. You've got to pull the thing off, the plane, and then rock the crack Ah, oh, right, okay. So basically, I've got to go on. Go on then. Oh, I was better than you. Was go better. load it then. <laughs> right, okay. Does that even load anything? Yeah, it's got the little magnet package. Okay. So it's got yeah. a magnet. Yeah, go on, love. Oh, Daddy was the same as me. I want to find that. Right. Come back. He's coming back. Redemption. It says it doesn't fall straight down, but it seems to. I just want to say, that's where I landed it. Right there. The projection room, bar Cody's stupid noises, is quite well presented with making it look like you're looking outside the airfield here. Yeah, it's nice. So here is the civil aviation area. Fueling, ambulances, little transports. Modern technology. Yeah, sort of. I'm to to Do you want a hang glide? Design. So this is our last part of the tour. Thank you very much for joining us. Something different. We always get around adventure ones. We don't proclaim not to. We'll suddenly do it as a whim. We always get around the adventures. I have to say. Really enjoyed seeing the Concorde.